Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The toolbars in all Microsoft applications are always accessible from the same location in the menu bar. They are always located under View and Toolbars. If you select these two commands in sequence, you'll see a side menu of available toolbars that you may show or hide. Toolbars that have a check mark next to their names in this menu listing are currently being shown somewhere in the application. Toolbars that do not have a check in front of their names are currently being hidden from view. You may click on any one of the toolbars in this listing to toggle the toolbar on or off. It's also useful to note that the toolbars in PowerPoint can display themselves in one of two formats. They may be floating or embedded and the toolbars can change between these formats as you would like. The standard and formatting toolbars appear embedded by default in PowerPoint, although each toolbar has its own default preference. You may switch the toolbars between either the floating mode or the embedded mode. You may display embedded toolbars as floating toolbars, which have an independent title bar and are shown over the presentation slide area, by clicking and dragging them by their left ends into the presentation slide area. You must click and drag it by the vertical gray bar at the far left end of the toolbar. And notice that now it appears as a floating toolbar with its own title bar, an X at the far right end that we can use to close, and floating toolbars can also be embedded. So if you have a floating toolbar and you would prefer to embed it, note that you can embed it in either the top, bottom, left, or right sides of the application window. And you do that by just simply clicking and dragging the floating toolbar by its title until it actually embeds itself in one of the sides of the screen. If you right-click any toolbar that is currently displayed on screen, you'll also see a list of all the available toolbars in PowerPoint. Once again, this duplicates the function of selecting View Toolbars from the menu bar. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.